Hey Snap Flash fam, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exciting update about Botswana's leap into space. How is Botswana planning to diversify its economy with space technology? What are the goals of Botswana's first satellite mission? Stay tuned to find out. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more updates on global technology news and inspiring initiatives. Let's get into it. On July 3rd, Endurosat announced a partnership with the Botswana International University of Science and Technology to build Botswana's first satellite, Botsat-1. Engineers from the university are joining Endurosat's team in Bulgaria to develop this historic satellite which is based on a three-unit standard CubeSat structure. Equipped with a hyperspectral sensor, the satellite will gather ground composition data to support Botswana's mining and agriculture industries. Endurosat revealed that the sensor would have a spatial resolution of 32 meters at 500 kilometers altitude and cover a 32 kilometer swath. By collecting multiple bands of light within the visible and near infrared spectrum reflected by the Earth's surface, the data will help identify materials and provide insights into vegetation, water, and air quality. Botswana is known as the world's top producer of diamonds by value contributing to nearly a third of the country's GDP. However, with the global market for rough diamonds declining, Botswana is looking to diversify its economy. Botsat-1 will provide critical data for long-term planning and investment decisions, aiding in this diversification effort. Funded by Botswana's government, Botsat-1 is part of a broader initiative to establish a space hub in the country. This effort includes the launch of a space engineering and technology qualification program starting in October. The Botswana International University of Science and Technology has already invested in developing ground stations and other equipment, emphasizing the synergy between educational programs and space missions. This partnership brings us closer to realizing our shared vision and underscores the strength of our mutual commitment to advancing space technology in Botswana says the Botswana International University of Science and Technology Vice-Chancellor Otlogetswe Totolo. This uh, project is profound, it is important, it is bringing different disciplines of engineering and the sciences, and it is truly advancing how we teach our students that uh, they must work as teams uh, to find solutions to issues and problems uh, that they can encounter. And I'm very, very grateful that uh, we have a group of young people registered in the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, pursuing their master's degrees and uh, doctoral degrees uh, to work on our first Botswana satellite. Since deploying its first satellite in 2018, Endurosat has delivered 60 spacecraft. The Botsat-1 mission aligns with the trend of more affordable and flexible satellites enabling a broader range of countries to join the space community. Botswana's foray into space technology is just the beginning. The country aims to attract and train regional talent through practice-driven space education, setting the stage for future advancements in space technology. What do you think about Botswana's first satellite mission? How can space technology drive economic diversification in developing countries? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video inspiring, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more updates on global technology news and exciting initiatives. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified about our latest content. Your support helps us bring you more valuable information. Botswana's debut satellite, Botsat-1, marks a significant milestone in the country's journey towards economic diversification and technological advancement. With the collaborative efforts of Endurosat and the Botswana International University of Science and Technology, this mission holds great promise for Botswana's future. Thanks for watching Snapflash, and we'll see you in the next video.